Hey everybody, this is Mr. Hartzler again. <coughs> uh, today we are going to make the smokestack for our little train. So here's a little picture we're starting off with. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to start off with this one doing our small base. And then we're going to come up, we're going to loft, go from this bottom small cylinder up towards a circle we're going to put up here, this fatter circle that they gave us the diameter to. Then we're going to extrude up and use this angle to taper our top. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why we have to do that. One of the reasons is we don't know the diameter of this outer ring up in the top. Um, we could use math. A couple of my students are doing that. We have an angle right here, so I can use a little bit of trigonometry and figure out what that must be or how far in compared to the bottom it is. But honestly, use what's easier. Use the tools that Inventor has given you. Uh, and I'll show you how to use that up here. Uh, in this right here, this little corner, I want to talk about that one. We have the diameter of a circle, or of our hole, as 0 0.375, and I go down 1.500 inches. Now I want to be very clear, that top line right there is talking about the small hole that starts at the very top and goes all the way down to here. The line below that is this larger circle. This is actually a uh, counter bore that has a diameter of 0 0.875 and goes down 0 0.375. So again, I have a counter board hole. This is my counter bore dimensions. These are the dimensions for the inner hole, starting up at the very top. Both of these dimensions, these depths, start up at the very top. Now that will become more apparent as we start going through this. I also want to note the optional chamfer on the bottom edge. We are going to do that chamfer. I'll show you how to do that. Not complicated. Uh, it's just a very small chamfer. Uh, it just kind of would help it get started if you were to put it into something. Also, if you're going to 3D print any of this, I do recommend making things just a touch smaller than what they are here. Now, if you're one of my students, don't worry about it. We can scale everything up a little bit later and fix it. But just for anybody else out there in the world, keep that in mind. Your printer will print it really close to the exact dimensions. But as we all know in engineering, tolerances aren't perfect. And if you, this smoke stack is, has a 0.5 inch bottom and your train body has a 0.5 inch hole in the top, they're not going to fit. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Let's get this out of the way and let's keep going. So I'm going to start a sketch on my XZ plane. The reason for that is it'll show up in the same orientation as my uh, picture over here. I need to make a circle. This is for my very bottom base. And it has a half inch diameter and it is a quarter inch tall. Now I need to do an offset work plane from here and it is 1.25 up. Notice that dimension is not explicitly said on this paper. Uh, the 1.25 is from this top circle up to where my work plane should be. That's because my overall height from the bottom up to that fattest ring is 1.5. So I have to subtract out this little piece I'm basing it off of. Alrighty, and on that plane I have to start a sketch and I need to make a circle there. That circle has a 1.25 diameter. Finish the sketch. Now let's loft from this top edge to this new circle we made. Looking pretty awesome, isn't it? Alright. Start a new sketch on the top, making another circle. It is 0. Point, no, sorry, it is 1.25. And then we need to extrude. And we come up. I know that's a 0. 0.25. And then I'm going to click more. Because this is where I get my little taper angle from. Notice on here, we have a taper angle of 15 degrees. So over here, taper, 15 degrees. I'm going to change my view a little bit. Notice that makes it go wider, not what I wanted. What am I going to do? Change my taper angle to a negative. So I go in instead of out. Easy peasy. Look at that. Done. Well, except for the big hole in the chamfer on the bottom. So let's do that big hole in the top. I'm going to hit hole. That's under the 3D modeling tab. I'm going to change to a counter bore hole. That's my second option down. And it gives me a whole bunch of different options here. Make sure you type them in and follow what's on the packet. My K 
counter bore has a 0 0.375 inch diameter, a depth of 0 0.375. My overall depth for my skinny hole is 1.5, and the diameter of the skinny hole is 0 0.375. Oh, I typed my counterbore wrong. I switched it. There we go. Counterbore is actually 0 0.875. And a depth of, that's right, overall depth of 1.5. And a thickness of that. All right, that looks good. Now, instead of placement being linear, I'm going to change to concentric. If you know what concentric does, it puts it in the middle of circles. So there are two things I have to do now that I've clicked on concentric. I have to click on the plane. Notice it's way off to the center. That does not look okay. That's not what I want. But I still have to pick the concentric reference. Okay, This kind of inventor babies you into this. At first, plane was all red and aggressive looking. Now concentric reference is red and aggressive looking. So I need to pick a concentric reference or a circle that I want to be in the middle of. So I can click any of these. I clicked it and hit OK. Beautiful, look at that. I'm actually going to show you just real quick how to make it look exactly like our picture. I'm just choosing a couple planes there and there and that. All right. Now, how close does that look? Yeah, none of you really care, but that looks pretty close if you ask me. That looks pretty stinking close. All right. And the sizing might be a little bit off just because this is on Word and this is an inventor. So now we have to do that last little piece. We have to do the chamfer on the bottom. I'm also going to exit this view. Go back to 3D model. Chamfer. And I'm choosing this bottom edge. Uh, let's choose this one. My 45 degree angle. It's going to be a 0 0.01. And I need to pick my face. Notice face over here is red and aggressive. Choose my face. Now see how edges is red and aggressive? Choose the edge you want to chamfer. There it is. Hit OK. Doesn't look like anything changed. Square it up. But I have a small chamfer on my bottom edge now. You can see it slanted in on both sides a little bit. And that is it, folks. That's all, as they say. Uh, thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel, Mr. Hartzler. And also give this video a like. It helps me out. Maybe I'll get rich and famous someday. Uh, and my Twitter is at Mr. Hartzler Math. And my Instagram is just regular Mr. Hartzler. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. And make sure you spread this knowledge to other people. No sense in knowing stuff if nobody else knows something. Teach people things, folks.